Hello everyone, welcome back to our complete Laravel e-commerce project tutorial series. Another video, fresh video, and today we will do two things. Number one is we will create this logout working on every of our dashboard. I mean in admin dashboard, in vendor or seller dashboard, and in user dashboard as well. As you can see it's right now not working at all next I'm going to talk about the store functionality in vendor or seller dashboard which is actually not included in our DV diagram okay somehow you missed that or uh, we missed it intentionally because it's only available on seller panel so like only when we work on seller panel it going to uh, take our attention and uh, i'm going to talk about like why the store functionality and also the benefit of it everything okay so let's first uh, work on the logout and make it working by default when we install laravel and uh, any um, you can say like any authentication package it comes out with default file some default file uh, like we are using here breeze breeze comes out with default file or folder called layouts instead of the layouts folder you get navigation.blade.pc file and in the navigation file at the end of navigation file code here you will see from method post action is route logout so there's already a route available for logging out our user and that is post route we need to uh, we need to use this post route everywhere where we want to give a we want to give user a option of logging out from our application so it makes sense right so let's do it very fast i want to make it enable at our seller panel so i don't want to work on admin or customer right now directly moving into seller layout.blade.php file nice in seller layout.blade.php file um here should be the logout option let me show you this is the logout link right so we need to modify it from logout link to from so let's do it okay we want to create here a from action going to be what route logout so just copy it from our navigation.blade.pc file and method going to be post symbol and use here at the rate csrf token okay then next simply we will need to submit this from that's all and that will make our user locked out so just type here input type submit or you can also use your pattern value going to be logout we can give here some class btn btn outline warning let's see if first is it working or not okay refresh the page go here we have a logout button you can see it right now if I want to make some changes like not just outline warning, BTN warning and also text center, let's see. Yeah, you can see this is the logout button. You can just design it as you want to but let me see first either it worked or not. I click on logout and yeah i logged out successfully so in seller panel right now logout is working right 
so this is the vendor of setup panel now if i click on logout it's working perfectly now i need to do the same thing in our admin panel and user panel as well so to access admin panel i'm going to make the user role zero okay user role zero fine now login if i log in right now i will be logging as a admin so this is admin dashboard right now i want to make this logout working there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this thing from our seller layout layout.blade.pc file go to admin then layout folder then layout.blade.pc file find out that piece of code or the line of code this is the logout mm, let me give it some class like ms3 possibly yeah let's see right now is it work or not yeah click on logout and yeah it working on admin panel as well because if i want to access right any page of admin it not working it take me to the login page and yeah everything working nice and smoothly now i want to log out from our okay i want to log out from our admin panel and i want to change the role again from 0 to 2 to access the user panel when i logged in don't worry there's going to be a separate login page for each different type of user very soon so now we are at user dashboard we have to do the same thing here because here also logout not working and for that we have to find out let me show you seller gone we should be at which one user customer customer layout layout related pc file and this is the code we want to change it and yeah now change this from text center to ms2 now refresh this space and see the button if i give here ms3 that should be nice yeah click on logout yeah logout working right now you already understand like how we can make log out right now i'm just going to log in into my seller dashboard again okay seller seller then layouts let us specify static center use ms3 nice okay log out we know it working so we don't need to think more about this logout. so yeah guys now our logout is functional hope you guys can do that too as well now let's talk about store what is the benefit of giving option of creating a store when we are building a e-commerce website building e-commerce website okay i'm giving the store functionality just because if a vendor want to use our platform if a seller want to use our platform as his own uh, link or own um, selling store online store then they can do it when we give them option of creating a store because he can create different category different store and then he can create uh, different product on each of the, those store okay then what he can do he can just visit his profile to see all different store he created and all the uh, product who is already listed on those stores okay 
so what going to be happen when he or she will wants to share his online store link he can just simply copy his profile link and share that with his or her friend or her audience and simply when any of those visitor came from his sharing will able to see every store you own or she own every product she is selling so that's going to be amazing like it's not only giving and the exposure of the platform also giving a organized way for seller to selling goods in our website and at the same time selling goods as thinking of it's his website okay so that's the reason why i am giving her an option of a store and uh, in a store there's going to be a few different fields first of all mm, a store will have id then a store will have the user id who is creating this store or vendor id or seller id and then a store will have the store name that's it okay and a store will have a connection with our product table simple so one store can be in many product okay so has many relationship going to be happen with store and product so yeah that's the talking part so let's work on a store very fast we will need to create a model and migration for the store so let's do it i'm going to open my terminal and i'm going to type here psp artisan make then model i want to create this model uh, the name of the store and i also want to create a migration file with it i'm going to open the model sorry migration face and here i will have id of the store then we'll have a string for the store name okay then we will have let me show you what we'll have in sub category we have a unsigned big integer of category id similarly here going to be a um, unsigned id big integer of user id not category id user id because we want to store the user id who is creating this store right then we need to write here they are similarly this line of code so i'm just going to copy this and paste it after time stems it's going to be table for an id of user id user id reference to column id on our users table so users in users table there's a column called id let me show you in user table, in user table, we are already in user table. If I go to structure, you will see a um, ID field. Okay, so yeah, in user table, uh, there's a in user table, there's a column called ID which is referencing here the user ID. So, this user ID actually coming from the ID which is in user table and yeah then on delete cascade that's all that's going to be in migration so yeah let's migrate psp artisan migrate fine now if i go to my database okay then refresh my database i should be able to see stores let me see stores okay stores already available in structure we can see stores will have id store name user id of the store okay and then get it updated very very nice so next our work going to be very simple we will define the relationship in the model file we will need to do that uh, okay like one user may will have many ids so one user id can be found in many store right so we need to define user and store relationship then we will also need to define user and store and 
store and or you can say like product which has many relationship because one store ID can be found in many product table because one man possibly can hold like hundred of this store, right? Okay, so that's all in our next video. We will define relationship in our model file and we will do the full crude of the store. Okay, so yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.